So this was my first experience with soil blocks. I've been excited to do this for a very long time. I just didn't have all the ingredients that I needed. So it's taken me a bit of time to get everything that I needed together, figure out what would work best for me, what recipe would work best, and then do it. So it's July now, unfortunately, but I'm just going to grow some items that can do okay in the fall time, some perennials that will grow a little bit and then will reappear next year, which I'm super excited about. I'm going to focus primarily on flowers for this. I am doing white lavender, poppy, and another one that I can't even pronounce, but is one of my favorites, especially dried. So I'm going to do those three in the majority of the trays and a few vegetables but primarily focusing just on flowers and seeing if I can actually even do this. I don't actually know if it'll work. I have a process I'm going to try, a room that I'm going to keep them in with my UV light, but I just, I don't know, it's been really humid and I'm a little worried they're going to struggle with the temperatures and I don't know, we'll see what happens, but it wasn't too hard of a process. I was able to gather all the products that I needed from Home Depot, Amazon. I already had compost from my cousin that I was able to bring back. So I had quite a bit of that, which I was excited to have some good farm compost. The ingredients that I used, I found to be pretty good with the packing. I will include the recipe that I put together myself utilizing some of the things I found online. Most of the recipes I found online were for large amounts, but I just wanted kind of a smaller amount so that I could see how it worked and kind of get my feet dirty. So I'll include that below. The recipe is self-explanatory. You just pretty much mix in measured amount of ingredients together. The learning curve would definitely be with the amount of water that is needed. Too much water and it's soppy and it won't stay too little water and it just crumbles. So I, I went back and forth with some of mine. Overall, they actually were really well put together, majority of them. I had a few that crumbled, so I had to redo them. But overall, it was actually not too bad. I just realized pretty straight on that water was a very important ingredient and I did not add enough in the beginning. So I had quite a few crumbly ones, but it was you know easily fixable, so that was nice. Yep, I'll give you guys some. Go eat it outside. Because the other mommy will kill me if I like. Charlie, Ashton. You guys want some watermelon? <laughs> Follow me. Go outside. <laughs> oh, come on, Ashton. So these are options for seeds. Okay. So. Oh wow. I don't care about pumpkin right now, do we? Are you looking? We definitely don't need cabbage. Can you pass me your phone? Do we have any cauliflower? Yeah. Where? It's in there. Mm-hmm. Really? Cauliflower. Leeks? Um, oh, watermelons. Do you want me to try watermelon? I don't have room to plant them. Not here, it'd be to bring to the land. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, so I'll do a couple watermelons. Beets? Yeah. 
sunflowers. Stevia. Mm. Cool. Spinach. Spinach. We don't have to do stevia this year. Yeah, spinach. No. Okay. Kale. Wait, wait, wait. Kale, yes, but it's spinach um, within the season. And is that what all over there? You can plant it, plant it again in late summer for a crab. Perfect. Um, we don't need tomatoes. Okay, so these are good. Okay. What do we have here? All right. I was thinking. Oh, here's our white lavender. We're doing white lavender. White lavender. No, we can't do these. Um, harvest late fall winter from an April. So. Dill. Want to do dill? Mm -hmm. Basil. Oh, I forgot about Johnny seeds. Yeah, we. Didn't I just go through all those? No, those weren't. I didn't go through. Those. I don't even know what these are. I'm just trying to do one. So there's more. Dill. There should be a carrot in there. Stay tuned for part two and to see how our little seeds are doing and growing. Also, please hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with all of our new adventures and learning experiences. Hit the notification button so you also know whenever we post a new video.